welcome back to my channel today I have brought a very interesting recipe it is the beef potato chops it is liked by everyone and it is a famous Govan dish it is mostly prepared during some occasions it is a side dish recipe and it can complement any other dishes so without wasting any more time let's get started so now for the potato chops let us take a look at the ingredients. For that, I have taken half kg of mince. Then I have taken finely chopped four onions and finely chopped three tomatoes. One tablespoon of meat masala. One teaspoon of turmeric powder. 1 tablespoon of garam masala powder, 1 tablespoon of red chilli powder that is Kashmiri lal, 2 finely chopped green chillies, a small bunch of pudina mint that is finely chopped, a bunch of coriander finely chopped. 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste also salt according to taste so now let us proceed to make it now now for the stuffing of the potato chops first I have taken a pan now and into it I have added a tablespoon of oil the oil is nice and hot so first I will be adding the finely chopped onions to it Now we have to fry these onions just till they are soft. So now we will fry the onions till they are little soft. Now but at, or, along with this also I will be adding the green chilies, chopped green chilies. And we will fry the green chilies along with the onions. Now the onions have become nice and soft. Now we will be adding the ginger garlic paste to it. And we will mix it along with the onions. Now we will be adding the chopped tomatoes to it. And we will fry this also nicely. Now we will cook this till the tomatoes are nice and soft. So now the tomatoes are nice and soft. Now we will add the dry spices that is the garam masala powder, the meat masala powder, the red Kashmiri chili powder, the turmeric powder as well as the salt and we will mix all this nicely. We will fry this for 2 to 3 minutes. So that the masala gets nicely cooked.
Now we will be adding the mince. And we will mix this nicely well. Now as you can see the mince is very well mixed with the onions and the tomatoes and everything. So now we will be adding the freshly chopped coriander as well as the freshly chopped mint. Now we will mix this. And now we have to lower the flame to low and we have to cook this without adding any water this uh, mince will get cooked along with the onion and the tomato water itself so we have to keep it on a very low flame and cook it till the meat is done so now I will be leaving this meat now for cooking on a very low flame I'll cover the pan but in the middle middle you'll have to come and check it and stir it in the middle middle So as you can see the mince has left a lot of water. This is the onion and the tomato juice. So the mince will get cooked in that only. We don't have to add any water. Now still the mince is not cooked. So I will leave it again now for cooking. Here now as you can see the mince is completely dry and cooked. So now it is ready for the chops to prepare the potato chops so first I will switch off the flame now we have to cool this down completely and then we will start preparing the potato chops so now for making the chops I have taken 9 potatoes boiled potatoes now we will have to mash them up completely so I will start mashing them now We don't want any lumps or anything in it. We have to mash it up completely. Then only we will get good chops. Now as you can see the potatoes are very well mashed for the chops so now into it we have to add a tablespoon of butter or little more than that. mix all the potatoes nicely with this butter so it gives a nice taste to the potato chops now the potatoes are well mixed with the butter so now we will leave it aside and then we will prepare the chops that is the potato chops so now we will prepare the potato chops for that first I will take two eggs crack two eggs into a bowl
and we will be adding a little bit of salt to it and now we will whisk this eggs up nicely Now this eggs are nicely whisked so I will keep this aside now first. And now we will start preparing the potato chops. For that we will just put a little bit of plain wheat flour onto the this. And we will take a portion from the potato. Okay, just put it on this with a little bit of flour on it and then we will make it like a deep well and now into this we will be putting the stuffing of the mince what we had earlier prepared. Now we will just try to close it up nicely. As you all can see now, and now we will shape it as a potato chop. The potato chop is ready so we will just keep it aside first and we will make another one I have taken a portion of the potato just put a little bit of normal flour, wheat flour Now we we'll put the filling of the mince. And now we will close this up. Now we will close this. Here yeah, the potato chop is ready. In the same way, we will prepare the rest of it. So now, here yeah, the potato chops are ready. So now we will proceed to fry them. Now for frying of the potato chops, I have taken a pan, into that I have added 1 tablespoon of oil, I have spread the oil to the pan and now for that we have to take a potato chop, we have to take a potato chop, we have to dip it in this egg wash and then put it on the pan for frying. Now we will fry this potato chop till nice golden brown, till golden brown in color and then we will flip it over and make it golden, fry it till it's golden brown on the next side also. So now first we fry it till it's golden brown on one side. Now they have become nice and brown on one side so we will flip it over to the other side 
as you all can see it's got a nice golden crust on top now we will fry it the same way on the other side so now the potato chops are ready see they have got another crust golden crust on the other side also as you all can see so now the potato chops are ready so we will remove it out in the plate now and now i will be doing the plating of it so now here the potato chops are ready they are looking so delicious and yummy it can be served with rice pulao also do give this recipe a try and let me know how you liked it also please subscribe to my channel and like and share this recipe with your family and friends i will see you all in my next video with another interesting recipe till then take care bye bye